breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. The former Enya of Kanu State, Emia Sanusi, has finally spoken on Tinubu's cash transfer. Says they have started another scheme of collecting money. What is this cash transfer and who are the benefactors? Who are those benefiting from this your cash transfer scheme? It is shameful, it is sad that it is another scheme by our government to defraud the people. Ashiwa Joa made Bola Tinobu sometime last week, a few hours ago, announced that his administration has begun trans cash transfer to individuals in the society. Again, this cash transfer thing we've been hearing it from Muhammad Buhari's time now to Bola Ahmed Tinubu. I please, I really crave your indulgence and I plead with you by God Almighty. Please, if you are one of those who have benefited from this cash transfer scheme, can you please indicate? Okay, if you are not even the person, but you know somebody who the federal government of Nigeria transfer, say 50 or 100,000 naira to the account from the federal government of Nigeria, please let us know. So that we can amplify it, make it known that indeed it is working, they are doing something. We need to know because these are the li greatest lies of our century. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Palliative, Sanusi finally speaks on Tinubu's cash transfer. Said this is the greatest scam of our century. Mohamed Senussi, the former Emir of Kanu State and ex-governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has it disclosed that the only way to bring a long-term solution to the removal of wealth subsidy completely was not through was not through cash transfer, but the reduction of the dependence of petrol and its products. It says this is not acceptable. You, we have to start producing as a nation and as a people. We must start our own production. Refineries must work. Refineries must work, not transferring money to people. It is the greatest scam. It can never solve the problem. According to Vanga, the economist commended President Tinubu for introducing this, but said it is the greatest scam. The subsidy remover remains the same. Sanusi said the fuel subsidy remover by Tinubu has brought about, brought about a lot of hardship. However, this matter can be corrected if we start refinery our petroleum products and our dependence on this very product is reduced. This will go a long way and help and reduce the cost of living and the suffering people are going through. Not transferring money. Transferring of money is one of the greatest scams that we've experienced as a nation and as a people. So this is the former... Emir of uh, Kano, whom Ganduji sent on exile. Remember, Ganduji sent him on exile, saying that he should go and relax in exile and what have you. Tinubu's government has begun cash transfer to some individuals who we don't know. By the way, some of them are spirits, yeah, because their account will be will be credited, and then, um, humanly speaking, they will not say. Uh, we will not know them. We will never know them. They can never, you know. So some of them, that's why I said some of them are spirits. Yes? Yeah, spiritism. Spirits will also receive money. For Nigerian money. Why a real human being that need the money will not get it? Real human beings will not get it. But spirits will get it. You know, so these are some of the things that are going on. And everybody is watching. So this is why we must not allow the same thing over and over again. If we want this nation to improve, we want things to get better, everybody will have to rise up and ensure that we do not allow the same thing over and over again. Nigeria belongs to every one of us. Some persons who are privileged to be in a position of authority to be able to give administration to ensure that truth and justice are administered in the nation are the very set same people who are you, who, are, who are depriving this nation, who are doing everything, humanly speaking, possible to put the people and to put the nation in a serious state of jeopardy. And so if we want this nation, we want things to improve, every single, every single person will have to arise and ensure that we do not allow the same thing. Everyone will need to begin to, you know, who know who they are, okay, and speak out as it is and ensure that we do the right thing, we do all that is needed and necessary to change the course of what is going on already. Nigerians are ready, you know, if you know, you know, 
egg, an egg, one egg, an egg is 150 naira in some places. Please go and investigate and confirm. A bag of gari, a bag of rice is how much? We're not talk about pando yam, not talk about yam. People are suffering. You remove for subsidy, no plan, nothing. You came, you made an announcement because you've got tons of money somewhere. Why the other people are barely getting by and you announce that the subsidy has been removed. They should, you know, people should deal with it and they should tighten their belt. That was the result. Tighten their belt, but you guys, your belt as loose as ever. For each lawmaker, they are getting 160 million naira car. One lawmaker, one, not two, one lawmaker. Even if it's 30 million naira. One lawmaker is getting that kind of amount of car. So what happened to other Nigerians? Then you want to share how much. So they should take 80,000 naira. But even their car is 160 million. If we don't know what is right, somebody else will tell us what they think is right. Too, and it will not become our definition, which ought not to be. So we will all need to rise up and ensure that we do not allow the same thing over and over again. We will all need to make sure that the right things are done. If we want this nation to be better, every single individual will have to do all that is needed and necessary, you know, and bring Nigeria right in the right place. Yes, because enough is enough. We cannot continue with the same thing over and over again, then expect a different result. If we want Nigeria to be better, everybody will, ar will arise and do not allow, you know, evil and those who want to manipulate the system to continue to do so. Nigeria belongs to us. So everybody will have to arise and do all that is needed and necessary to change what is happening today. Okay? So it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay? So we just need to ensure that we do not allow the same thing. We all need to make sure that we, 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 believe this, we, we move this nation from where it is right now and bring it to where it needs to be. Nigerians, we all need, you know, we all need a change in our government. We all need this nation to, work for, to move forward. And we all need to ensure that you know that the right persons are delivering as they should there should be some level of accountability our government have zero like zero accountability so they roam free and it is sad but that's what's happening leave us a comment god bless don't forget to like us share subscribe have a fantastic day from us it's bye for now remember you have a voice so every single individual must speak up and refuse every wrongdoing yes bye